Hey guys, what's here? So new power-ups were added to the game. We're gonna talk about how to profit, we're gonna pull a couple, we're gonna see, and we're gonna talk about some of the glitches that came out today uh, with it and are still in the game as of this moment to our knowledge. So, let's talk about the predictions first. We went ahead and yesterday we gave our suggestions or our ideas on who is going to happen um, and the ones that came out are these ones. You can see a lot of these names, uh, Bosa, Boyd, Carr, Chubb, etc. Here are the ones we predicted. Everybody with an O next to their name was correct. So our list yesterday, we had two wrong ones, Peters and Collins. Collins was like a, a flashback, so we took a guess. We took a, we took a shot on them, uh, but they actually ended up bringing out Bosa and Vita Vey. So close, but what, 16 out of 18 we got correct. So not bad idea. EA is going on similar things to last year. What do you think is a good or bad idea? They're basically giving uh, higher end cards between Mutt Heroes, Team of the Week set players like we talked about yesterday. Uh, they're giving those cards the ability to get physical stems, basically making higher end cards better. Instead of giving like uh, theme teams the better choice, they're getting players with multiple teams. So their, their, their emphasis is on higher cards rather than multiple team cards. So whether it's good or bad, it happens. Um, it's just the way, the way EA is thinking about this year. So we'll know that for future gets, gots, goods. So the issue, the glitch in the game currently, and I believe it is still there to this moment, um, are the fact that in the exchange pack, so you guys know how to do exchanges, I hope, in this sets. Uh, the power-ups are not coming out of them. The the big exchange set is the low exchange, sorry, the low silver to high silver exchange set because all the new um, power-ups are in that high silver set. So even in the future, if we get new power-ups, we'll be in this high silver set too because, you know, new power-ups would all be non-elite, so they'd probably be at the six same 68 overall. So this is kind of the thing to go to normally, but right now it's not working. So it sucks. But people believe it's working. And that's the frustrating part. We'll see. I, don't, I doubt we're going to get make rights, but hopefully EA does something. Because I opened, what, like 100 of them or something crazy. Um, and then I went ahead and went to the store for the get a player packs. They're obviously in game. They're on the auction house. Lamar Jackson's going for like 350k insane. Uh, but they are in the get a player packs. And I've pulled, uh, I don't know, probably like 400 of those packs today. And I pulled a bunch of... Uh, power. I think I pulled like six or seven new pops. So the odds are really slim that you're gonna get something good. But how do you profit? All right, you profit like you do in any pack by selling the contents, and the contents are the reason why it's profitable and why you can make a lot of coins and why you're watching this video, right? So you're like, oh, I'm just gonna exchange set the low for the low silvers to the high silvers. Don't do that. All right, one, it's broken. Two, people are playing a lot for those low silver right now. It happened last time. Um, where low silvers go up with the exchange set. So these things are selling at like 950, 1000. I listed a bunch for 1000 to 1050 and they all sold. And I was like, all right, sweet. Somebody's listening for uh, 1049. Uh, that looks like these are probably going to sell two specifically listed. So that's probably like where we're at right now. It's 1050. Earlier today, it was like 1100. So right now, um, a, a, a thousand or so. So low silvers are going for twice the pi price the pack is. High silvers, less in demand. These are the ones that are kind of going to be like, eh, break even, sell for 600. They're going to take a long time to get bought, though. Um, so these ones might be better off exchanged into higher sets or just quick sold for training. Uh, those ones are kind of like, you know, break even. It's slight profit if you sell for 600, but not enough to really write home about. Low golds are similar value, 900, 950 as the low silvers. So that's kind of uh, what you want to sell those at uh, to get those bought. 75 like I say this isn't like the fastest best way, but it is definitely a way of making coins here uh, and then then uh, There are some high high golds are going for 2,000 coins. You see that one just bid 2200 looks like the max that you'll get or 2300 is the max you're gonna get bought at uh, And then like I did pull a couple elites. I pulled an 83 and an 81 So the 80s are going for 60 6,000 and then you guys can look up the rest on your own Anyways Profitable for now and if you pull one of the new power-ups some of the ones like Lamar Jackson I want to take a look at him specifically. He's the he's the big name the absolute like the scrambling quarterback uh, From everybody's dreams the triple option player that uh, we all kind of dream about I think he's the fastest quarterback in the game right now Vic I think I believe is like a speed or two slower uh, and uh, Lamar program power up so this is the one we want to go to another way of getting uh the twitch prime or the twitch drops all right so lamar's at 206 so down a little bit from earlier um he was going up to like 300k i said 350 which was way off i think 350 on ps4 is what's uh, currently but 200k for lamar not a bad pull if you do rip a lot of those uh, gag packs sell back 
It's it, like I said, tedious, but it uh, in the end it's profitable if you have the time to flip a dime. So we'll pull a few for the uh, uh, show. We'll also I think I got one competitive pack for Trinity Comp uh, Competitive Scene. I basically saw everything I hate about online Madden. Be dudes were just doing stretch uh, dives uh, with Motion Joe Thomas and then the the contain blitzes. So it makes it very hard to pass. It's easy to run. And Madden sucks in the gameplay right now, but we all kind of know that. But I tuned in for five seconds, and we got a pack. So let's do it to it. One elite. All right, not bad. 81. No Lamar, though. Real sad boy power uh, hours. So I got some other exchange packs. I'll just probably just end up opening them up. Because the thing about the power ups, we didn't know exactly what overall they were going to be. So I saved up a few exchange packs. Probably just rip those randomly someday. I don't know what else could come in new at that like gold level. Uh, there might be a gold master in the future, but that that might not be for months or something. Maybe until after the season even. So get a players. Some people have better luck than others. Obviously, like any packs, my luck I felt is very uh, meh on them. Uh, luck's been very solid. I mean, I've, I've profited off them overall, but they've been tough. They've been just oh, tip hit down twice to get there faster. All you do is hit down twice, A on Xbox, down once, go. So you don't even have to move your hands. You gotta hit B, down, down, baby, your street in a Range Rover. Click the button, and then move on. All right, so that's kind of the video. I can I can rip a few more of these. I ripped a bunch on stream. Uh, what do you think about Power Up Day? We got Legend Dallas Clark coming tomorrow too. Um, he's a little underwhelming. I'll show him off here in a second. Uh, I, I hate it. He's got no run block, so he's basically a what a passing lineman only. Um, and let's see, EA Madden NFL. So Cralo knows about, and he tweeted about uh, the inability to add uh, the Sonny Michelle into his power up. 56 run block. I mean, if we're tight at one, you're eventually gonna run the ball, right? I guess for only a player that uh, you power him up, add the speed chems. He's an 87 speed tight end with no run block. Good route running. 6-3 is okay. Yeah, a pass catcher only and not as fast as like the new Ingram that came out today. New Ingram. The Ingram power up. Crazy. Uh, 91 speed from a tight end. You basically don't even need to sub in wide receivers at that point. You don't have to do that glitchy stuff. Uh, let's see if EA Kralo has tweeted anything lately about... Uh... To it. Ugh. You're insulting me. To it sadly went down for the year. God, he was so good this year. Steelers has been so good, and then losing to it, that hurt. That hurts. That one of the best players in the defense they lost. Underrated injury. Defense linemen always like, especially in like a, a system like Pittsburgh, they always seem to be a little underrated. At least still got a Hayward and friends. Um, Kralo, yeah, they're aware of the uh, elite fantasy pack not refreshing, and the Redux Michelle. Uh, no training option for Vita Van is the Darius Smith. Uh, Kralo tweeted about that. So they're trying to. Uh, I think the CFM issues are top priority for them at the moment. Which is interesting because they never really care about CFM that much. So, I guess must, uh, us Mutt players put on the back burner. It's weird that, like, because there are separate CFM teams and Mutt teams in EA's building. Uh, I don't know if it's a server issue, but it, it feels weird that maybe CFM is borrowing some resources from Mutt now. Which, hopefully, just, like, with all the money that we give them, damn, they should have a lot of dedicated resources to both, in my opinion. But, uh, that's not how EA's run, sadly. But then that's it for uh, pulling for the video. Let me know if you guys get better luck than I do uh, on your Twitch drops and whatnot. But uh, thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.